for days after the deadly ambush of an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy, his tearful fiance speaking out for the first time. She says she and Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer were excited about beginning their lives together. The suspect, meantime, pleaded not guilty to murder charges, claiming an insanity defense. Law enforcement agencies and firefighters paid tribute to the fallen deputy as his body was taken to the mortuary. Deputy Klinkenbrumer was an eight-year veteran of the department, a third-generation sheriff's deputy. He was just 30 years old. Our Carlos Salcedo live in downtown L.A. at the Sheriff's Department Hall of Justice, and he has the very latest on the case, Carlos. Yeah, it's been a long emotional day from the family of the fallen deputy from a procession to a not guilty plea by reason of insanity from the murder suspect. Just a lot to take in, a lot to process. And as you mentioned tonight, for the first time, we hear directly from the deputy's fiance. I also want to say thank you to anyone that helped solve this case. <laughs> A heart-stricken fiancé speaking on behalf of Ryan Klinkenbrumer's family, the 30-year-old deputy, the love of her life. We were just engaged, planning to get married and start a family. Ryan, I miss you and I love you so much. Ryan's parents and siblings fighting back tears during an emotional press conference Wednesday afternoon where authorities announced the charges filed against defendant Kevin Salazar. Clinkin Broomer's brothers in uniform looking on. We are hoping for nothing less than the maximum punishment available under the law. Hours earlier, 29-year-old Salazar entered a not guilty plea in a Lancaster courtroom. The court is going to enter a plea of not guilty to the charges as well as a dual plea to not guilty by reason of insanity. The criminal complaint showing the one count of murder, along with three special circumstance allegations, which include committing a crime against a peace officer, using a firearm from a motor vehicle, and lying in wait because prosecutors say this was an ambush. That could make him eligible for the death penalty and life without parole if convicted. L.A. County D.A. George Guscone, who has been criticized for being soft on crime, was asked if he would pursue the death penalty. If I thought that seeking the death penalty was going to bring Ryan back to us, I will seek it without any reservation, but it won't. Law enforcement agencies and firefighters paid tribute to the fallen deputy as his body was taken to a mortuary. Clinton Broomer was an eight-year veteran of the department and a third-generation sheriff's deputy. Authorities say Clinton Broomer was in his patrol car Saturday when Salazar pulled up next to him and shot him with a 22 caliber revolver he had just purchased within the last few weeks. No, no, no. Salazar's family declined to comment walking out of court but claims he suffers from paranoid schizophrenia. KTLA legal analyst Allison Treisel. If he is found not guilty by reason of insanity, he is found not guilty of these charges. However, he will be committed to a state hospital until sanity is restored, and that can be up to the maximum term of his confinement. So life without the possibility of parole, that's the maximum sentence that prosecutors are seeking. As for the murder suspect, he's being held without bail. His next court appearance set for November 7th. That's the latest from the Hall of Justice. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.